runs in a double check on c8 uh, and queen c7 he can just promote uh, the c pawn to c8 c4 cd d6 d c c8 queen uh, so queen a5 check uh, seems to be the only try that, that doesn't get mated um, in this configuration uh, the problem with a lot of these uh, queen a5 ideas is that uh, when white plays uh, b4 b takes a5 he creates a really strong um, advanced pawn uh, that threatens to promote and just and just you know wreak havoc so the, the queen coming out to a5 seldom works very well and uh, this particular uh, variation knight c3 knight takes d1 he takes f6 um, note that if he instead had played king takes d1 there's a lot of lines where black mates with like a bishop b4 and a rook on e1 uh, so this this doesn't get mated and um, it's hard to believe black can survive this with two two powerful dangling pawns and, and a six to four uh, piece disadvantage um, so another try is to get the queens off against this series is to play knight c6 um, bishop g4 bishop takes d1 and then to uh, to move the queen since he hasn't played c6 um, there's no double checks with the rook th through like c8 uh, queen b8 is interesting too um, but again I, I, I think that uh, this series is too artificial and uh, the knight on f6 is again a problem and I think uh, oh, white has a simple win um, first, let's suppose he did uh, queen b8, then I think the simple series, e takes f6, and knight f3, um, knight f3, knight e5, knight takes c6, knight takes b8, check, uh, is trouble, um, 2, 3, 4, 5, again, we've got a 6 to 4 piece advantage, dangling pawn, delivered check, harassing check, um, so I think that, uh, that, that that would be busted. Um, a little more tenacious is this idea of knight c6, bishop g4, bishop takes d1, queen c8. Um, and in this position, I think that uh, if we remember the principle of quantity, uh, we can actually leave the queen on. And I think this series is very powerful. e takes f6, f takes g7, king takes d1, g takes h8, queen. Oh, whoops, whoops. So we don't, we don't play that. Uh, leave the pawn on g7 and play um, king e2 to avoid getting checkmated and bishop takes c6 check and uh, this does not appear to get checkmated and um, again black's been reduced to four pieces uh, and even though one is the, one of them is the queen since uh, since there's no checkmate here it doesn't really matter uh, we'll take the queen off uh, on the next uh, series and um, even if he made it, it's it's just hard to, to believe even with his queen that, that he can really uh, do anything here. He's he has to waste at least two moves. Uh, one to take the bishop on c6 and one to take the pawn on g7, and uh, then he only really has four moves to munch with his queen. Uh, after which he should get killed on on the seven. Um, uh, my main line when I tried to to revive this uh, series, and and which I thought for a while had done so, and it was why I didn't play this series against against Lenneman when I played him in, in this game. Um, is that I thought that uh, Black could play this series um, Bishop d7, Bishop takes b5, King d7, Knight g4 and uh, the idea behind this series was that it was just trying to be really annoying and disruptive and, um, uh, and it was kind of wasn't really just a swarm try because I did actually eat, eat a bishop so, so I did end in my series up a piece and the g4 Knight is defended by uh, check defense the problem with this series is that uh, it simply allows um, white can just take the pieces and, and again finds a series that avoids checkmate even though black has a queen. So a4, a b, h3, h g, and then this keep spare move to stop checkmates, queen e2, and uh, I don't believe there's a mate here, and both of white's rooks are ready to, to just perform absolute carnage upon the black position. He still has his queen, uh, he's got advanced pawns, this, this is just one of the worst positions I've ever seen in progressive chess, and uh, it looks like you know, black is just getting horribly mauled. Uh, so I'm trying to think if there's any other, any other real tries um, for black here. Um, oh yeah, it's worth talking about why I didn't, why I did bishop d7 b5 instead of c6 cb, um, king d7 knight g4. And uh, the problem here is, of course, there's a ghost um, by just uh, taking the knight and then playing uh, queen f3, and uh, queen takes d5 check. And uh, this will this will be a ghost. The bishop on c8 will deliver check, and then white will checkmate. So, so that's why I played that. So I think that that's pretty good coverage of, of the problems that black faces by playing a d5 knight f6. 
Um, so what what else does he have available? Um, well, another possibility is this series d5, knight c6. It's worth pointing out um, one key thing um, about progressive chess and why black makes the, the various second moves that he makes. Um, let's just suppose black only made one move here, d4, d, and, and went d6, d5, and white goes bishop f4, bishop c7, bishop d8, and black goes king d8, bishop f5, bishop c2, bishop d1. Uh, well, the problem here is that uh, is that uh, white has a checkmate with uh, g3, bishop h3, knight a3, rook c1, rook c8. So black really doesn't want to get checkmated like this, so he wants his second move to be something that deals with that threat so that he can actually play king d8, bishop f5, bishop c2, bishop d1. And so this explains his choice of second moves and explains why, um, uh, well, with d5, knight f6, if white had, had done this, he, was, he wasn't going to play uh, the bishop, he was going to do this. Uh, and take um, the queen this way, and that appears to to be a draw for for black. I won't I won't, I won't go into the theory on it, but uh, since there's a series that seems to just crush it, um, but I, I could go back to that if if one of the uh, viewers finds something there. Um, and yeah, if any of you guys find have any suggestions or, or think you see series that change the assessment of some lines, by all means uh, post them, and uh, and uh, I will in comments and I will I'll talk about them. Um, so d5 knight c6 it was a very popular series uh, with the uh, Italian uh, progressive chess players in the 70s and 80s. Um, and one of the reasons is that uh, it just, they, they wanted to play this swarm try. Um, uh, so king d8, bishop f5, bishop c2, bishop d1 is probably, probably not going to work. Probably uh, the knight on c6 is going to find itself misplaced either through pawn promotions or a bishop will be able to take it or something. It's just, I don't really trust it. I'm not 100% sure that that, uh, that black is losing there. Um, but I think black is definitely losing in this series, uh, which was very popular in um, in Italian progressive chess circles, which was to play knight h6, e5, bishop e4, check. And as swarms go, this is almost good enough. It's such a good series. It's, it's so close to, to being able to hold the game. Um, and in fact, uh, our main line of analysis went very deep, you know, to the 9 and the 10. And uh, we, we've tried everything to hold this position and, and weren't able to. Um, Lineman and myself analyzing this. Um, and, uh, and it was Lineman's novelty uh, to play this move. Uh, queen d2, queen takes b4. Uh, and then uh, queen takes b7, queen takes c6, and knight a3. And knight a3 is really the key move. It stops a lot of uh, back rank and, and, and mates and things and promotion uh, mates. And it seems weird to just leave the queen sitting on c6 like this, but it's going to take black at least two moves to capture, and then he still has all this other material. So this shows how these swarming attempts just tend to fail. And uh, But even so, this one is so close. Uh, bishop d7, bishop takes... Uh, c6. We're pretty sure this is the only uh, real try. E takes d4, d3, d takes c2, e takes f1, queen. Because uh, this again promotes and, and uh, black is up technically 5 to 4 uh, and ends with check. So at this point white will be equal in the piece count. Uh, king takes f1 and this 7 is, is really just really great. Rook, rook h3, rook c3, rook takes c6, rook takes h6, rook d6, check. Ending the series with check. And uh, even though that rook's going to get taken, white has another one, and, and so black is just uh, is now up uh, four pieces to two. He's in, he ended his series with check, and uh, oh, I have the wrong seven. I'm sorry. This is one that that actually black uh, black wins wins against. Um, so let me rewind. Okay, I just rewound the position. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I had the wrong seven uh, in my analysis. Um, so this is the right one. But king takes f1, rook e1, rook e6, rook h6, rook h7, king e2, rook h8, check. Um, and then we found this uh, king c7, rook. And the problem here is it's just he can't stop white from promoting. Uh, it's just so close. Um, and the best I think we found was f6, d4. Uh, but the knight, you know, his choice is, is a promotable pawn or knight, so he leaves the knight. Um, but knight c4, knight e5, knight c6, knight d4, king f3, king g2, 
king g3, a3, knight e2, and, it, and that, that's a simple win. And uh, we tried an enormous number of eights uh, for black here, but uh, none of them could we could we avoid uh, getting stopped on the nine. So, but this is definitely a series that's worth worth reviving, you know, worth looking at to make to make sure. Like, it only takes. Uh, I, I think the six is absolutely optimal. Um, so the the question would be if if uh, you can find anything for black on that uh, eight that would hold this position. Um, going back to d4, d5, knight c6, bishop f4, bishop c7, bishop d8, king d8, bishop f5, bishop c2, bishop d1, then uh, king d1, um, then the main line's probably e4, uh, bishop a6, bishop b7, bishop a8, and one of the problems that, uh, that we see here for um, black is that uh, had he played d5 c6 instead in this series, he would have uh, this position. Um, he would be up a pawn, and his knight would be in this key defensive square of b8. So we can see that this has to be worse um, to, to have the knight on c6 here, um, unless he uses it at, at this point and plays like knight, knight d4 and c2 a1. But the problem is, um, as I explained before, if black does nothing, if he, he, he needs to disrupt, he needs to promote. Here, um, if he doesn't promote, then he's just going to lose materially. Especially, you know, White has will be able to just promote a pawn on his seven or, or win win with his rook or, you know, something like that. Um, so, so Black uh, really has to come up with some sort of disruptive try to hold this position. But again, Black's problem here is if he uh, if he promotes a pawn and then moves his king, for example, uh, which to try to disrupt, he's sitting on bishop takes c6. You know, his knight is just sitting there uh, ready to be captured. Um, but he, if he plays like knight takes d4, c2 takes a1, he's just going to lose materially. He has no other really three moves that uh, that are any good. Um, so the best promoting try that I found, uh, the best two tries I found really were a5 takes uh, a1, uh, king c7, or king c7, f5, f4, f3, fg, uh, uh, gh. But this is clearly worse than its counterpart in um, in d5, c6. Um, there are lines where white can play knight takes d5 check with a bit pawn on c6 that would be protected. There's lines where white takes bishop takes c6 that would be on b8 in the other line. Um, so I just don't consider it. If if black's going to play knight c6, I think he, he needs to try swarm tries on the four, like I showed. I think in uh, in these positions that he's just got a worse version of d5 c6. So if he's going to play this uh, bishop takes queen stuff. Um, then the knight c6 just is not is not a good move, and, and I don't I don't think he's going to survive either of those. I, I haven't really analyzed them in, in detail, so that that's something else. So maybe there's something here, um, but but I think that uh, probably his knight is would have been better on b8, and, and white will just have some simple win in either way by just taking the queen and taking the rook on the seven, and then asking black to prove it uh, on his eight, um, or maybe something where he takes the knight and, and delivers check. So what other tries does he have? Um, I'm not going to go through d5, c6 yet, because I'm going to save that for the main main line. Um, but this try w was really popular, and um, in fact, it's it's an extremely, extremely complicated uh, position. Uh, c5, c takes d4. And, and this took many hours of analysis and many, actually, years, uh, you know, before we found what uh, we, we I, I think, I think we found the best series and that this is now, uh, we can say, is, is convincingly refuted. Um, the idea is that if, if uh, first of all, that, that black, uh, whenever he moves a c-pawn, he threatens this knight c6, uh, b4, queen a5, knight d3, double check. Um, so white uh, is somewhat restricted in, in his options. Um, and the main idea is that if, if white takes uh, uh, black's queen with the bishop, then black, uh, why did it do that? Uh, black will, will uh, take the